Welcome guys. Today's video, we are over here kind of in the sub-district of uh, Chom Tong. It's kind of by Talang Chan and Tonbury, and we're right on the Klong Dan. And we're going to take a look at this first class temple. It is Wat Raja Ora Saram. So let's look around. This is a real treat. I'm really excited about this temple. So the temple itself borders this canal right here. This is the Klong Dan Canal. And this eventually will go into the ocean and you can get on this canal and you can go all the way up to Ayutthaya. So you can take this canal, it'll run into the Chao Praia up there and then uh, you can go eventually to Ayutthaya. There was 10,000 men that camped the first night of their expedition going up towards Kanchanaburi to the Three Pagoda Pass to uh, intercept the Burmese. So they stayed the first night here on their journey, and that's why after the, uh, the Burmese threat was uh, gone, Prince, uh, the prince, the future king, Rama III, came here and renovated this temple. And he was able to renovate it in the style that he wanted. And he renovated it in the Chinese style, which that's kind of the hallmark of Rama III is the Chinese style. All right, so this is the gate that goes in. You can see the little figures. And uh, this is such a treat. This is a cool temple. We're gonna see uh, the ordination hall first. And this is where Rama III's ashes are interned. And if you remember one of the, uh, the first class temples that I just visited, uh, I guess about two weeks ago or so, that was the burial site of King Rama IV. And Rama III was his predecessor. So this is an ordination hall. You can see here, they have the uh, Sema stones. And uh, check those figures out by the door. Now, I guess they've had a problem with looters coming and cutting the heads off of those and taking them. So they've had to remake them out of ceramic. But check out these little pagodas. This is quite cool. And this is definitely worth your time to come over and see. It's just nobody comes over here. This is definitely off the tourist trail. I mean, I had to ride my motorcycle over here today to get to this, but we are in for a little treat to check it out. Okay, so let's go into the ordination hall here. Let's take off our shoes and go in. So the walkway in here is all this marble. And you can see the styling around the doors. And then they have the painted like ceiling tiles. Those are out of the teak wood. The styling is so much different than you see in any of these other temples. Now there's another one of the Chinese temples that was uh, one of the favorite temples by uh, King Rama III, that's down on the river, that has the largest seated Buddha in Bangkok. And I saw that in one of my boat tours that I did. I may have to try to get back over there one of these days and make another video. So this is inside of the ordination hall. And then here, this is a picture of King Rama III and his ashes are interned. I was talking to a lady that said they're underneath this Buddha. So this is a really a sacred place for the Thais. Now Rama III is a relatively, you know, he's an unknown Thai king. He was kind of overshadowed by Rama IV, who did a lot of good work for uh, Thailand. That kind of brought Thailand into the modern era. But check out all these murals, they are amazing. It's a little dark, hard to see up there. You can see the ceiling is red with the gold painted little patterns. Let's take a look at this right here. So check out the styling of this mural. All the little detail work. And it's so much different than you normally see. It has the Chinese motif for sure and the backs of the doors are all painted up. Now the doors themselves are uh, mother of pearl. You can see the inlay in the wood right here. That is nice. 
and then these little books over here. So if you wanted to, these are the like the sermon books. Like, so the monks will come here and they will do their little prayers and it has it all written inside of here. And then they have over here, this is the, the platform. So this is where the monks will sit when they're doing like their ceremony. And then the head monk will sit up there in that little throne. But the, the Buddha itself is really, really nice. And then the, I don't know why, why exactly they have these mirrors here, but they do. They have them all around inside of this ordination hall. And then you can see this mural over here is like the Chinese styling. It's like the Chinese pagodas. Yeah, this is fantastic. All right, so let's take a look at the outside of this. So you can see the Chinese styling up there on the gable. You'll see the flowers and all of that. The, the tiles are all the Chinese style up around the, the roof. Now there's another Rama three-era temple that's not too far from here. That's what Nong Nit, I believe, and I've never been to it. So a lady I was just talking to was recommending going over there and visiting it. And the temple that's down on the river that I went to, that was Rama III's favorite temple, was what Galamit, I think is what it's called. And it has the largest seated Buddha in Bangkok. Now over here, I think, goes into uh, some of the monk quarters over in here. And I'm not sure what this is. It looks kind of like an interesting building. You can see the styling in the plaster. Oh, this is like a shrine over here. Oh, this is cool. So it has the high threshold to come in. And it has a nice Buddha here with the decorated ceiling. And it has a Buddha footprint. And this is a working temple. So oh, and then you have the, like the fasting Buddha statue here. You can see all the styling in the ceiling. And yeah, this is a beautiful little building. So you can come right over here. There's a monk that will give you the blessings. The ties come over here and we'll make some merit. The Buddha footprint and uh, this uh, Buddha statue right here. Okay, that was a pretty neat little building. And right over next to it is kind of an ancient looking chetty. You can see the pictures of the people that are buried there and the gates with the Chinese styling. Yeah, this is a really fun little temple to see. And it has this courtyard here where people can walk around. And I just want to look at this chetty over in the corner. So you can see this chetty right here. It's kind of the Khmer style. It has like the uh, staff of Shiva up on the top. And you can walk up those little stairs and you can walk right around the base of it. And all through the temple ground has all these little buildings with the inlays. Now they have two of these like the Buasima stones here. And I'm not sure if that means it was like the king's temple, because there usually there'll only be one, but this one has two. If somebody knows a little bit more than that, uh, tell me in a comment if they would, please. I would like to know the, uh, the reasoning for two of those. So we have another little building over here. It looks like this one's closed up. There's the temple wall, and then a couple more chetties. And back there, those are the monk quarters. And then there's a school with the same name that's right next to this, which is pretty common for these temples to have a school built onto it. And you can see here some more of the Chinese styling. It has kind of the pagoda look. And same over here. Yeah, that's really cool looking. So they're, oh, I see. So they've carved a Buddha into the stone on the inside. Oh, that's interesting. And have they done it on the other sides? They have like a little portal here. And they've done it on just the north and the south. Okay, so this is the real treat. So this is the door. It's round. And it leads you right into this little courtyard here. And as you can see, here is this humongous wee hand that has a uh, reclining Buddha inside of it. Uh, this is really fun. And so it has the stylings, like the little lions and stuff, the Chinese 
statues all around. And then this has the courtyard that's all the seated Buddha are around inside of it. So you can see them, they have them behind glass in here. So they have all of these figures all the way around, which is a pretty common thing at these temples. But most of the time they're open, so the birds and stuff will fly around them. But these, they have them covered in glass. All right, so you can see the styling up here. It has uh, all the painting and stuff up on those, like the little arches. And then it has like the Buddha symbol that you can see all around here. All right, let's go in and look, look at this reclining Buddha. So that's a pretty cool look at it from the window. And we'll go up in here and we'll, uh, we'll see it. So this has a huge th high threshold. And then here is uh, the doors. You can see how they have it painted up, has hummingbirds and flowers and all kinds of different figures. And then here is the reclining Buddha. So you can see here's the head and there's a pigeon right up on top of his head. And then uh, his feet are down there. And I'm not sure how long this is. This looks like it's maybe, maybe 25 to 30 meters long. And you can see the top knot goes into the wall there. And then you can see the styling up there in the ceiling. So much of the Chinese influence. So here's where the head monk will be. And then they have uh, all the symbols and stuff all around. So this is kind of like the cushion that the Buddha sits on, rests his head. I guess it would be one of these uh, triangular pillows. Okay, so you can see the styling on the doors. So that's more of a traditional Thai Buddhism, while on the inside is a completely different pattern. This is kind of like a, I guess maybe like a peacock or something. And then you see it has some like little animals down here. And then the flowers. So that is definitely something you don't ever see on any of the temples here in Thailand is the styling like that. And then these are the window shutters that has those peacock looking birds again. And then it has like the black enamel here with some of the, oh, that's cool. You can see here the bird is eating a fish. And then uh, some of the other flowers like the lotuses. Let's look at the back of the Buddha. So they have statues of the Buddha here. They have some of the Chinese ones inside. And then the back of his head has some more of the, the styling. And it has this Lexan out here to keep you from uh, climbing up on the Buddha. And then they have a small reclining Buddha. And then you can see the Buddha footprint on the bottom of this. So all those little details and everything mean certain things to the ties. And the ties will come over here and stick the gold leaf on this little one. So you can see how big this thing is. Yeah, this is a beautiful little hall. Okay, so this is the outside of that big, huge hall with the reclining Buddha. You can see the gable up there has all the plates and Chinese styling. And they have some bells out here clanking away. Yeah, this is a nice little temple. It has the chetis here. So people that have been buried, they have their little data plates on it. But this is, uh, this is quite cool. I really, really like the styling of this. There's a monk coming, so you got all the, the round doorways. All right, guys, that's gonna finish up our video over here at Wat Racha Ora Saram. This is a cool little temple. It's uh, so quiet. There's no tourists around here. And it's a shame because this is a beautiful temple. It's uh, one of the first class temples. So being first class, what that means is that it's a special grade of class that is uh, like promoted by the royal family. And so the royals will actually donate extra money to these temples and it's uh, kept at a higher standard than the other. There's the special class that's uh, Wat Prakau, that's the highest level in all of uh, Thailand. And then there's uh, first class and there's something like 29 of them all around in Bangkok or in uh, Thailand itself. 
and I think 10 of them are in Bangkok. And I've done a video at almost all of them. So uh, I still have Wat Arun and Wat Po to do. Those are the two first class temples that I have. And uh, I'll probably post a link to the first class temple, uh, maybe a couple of them, so you can see, kind of get an idea of what they look like. But this one is definitely worth your time to come over and see. This is the burial place of King Rama III, and it's fantastic. The Chinese styling of it is unique, so it's definitely something that if you get a chance, come over here and take a look at. So anyway, if you, uh, if you like the video, make sure you click like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. This is what I do. I just go show you things that I see, tell you a little bit about what I know. So if you like that, then definitely stick around and uh, you're notified whenever I post a new video. And leave me a comment if you want to come here or tell me what you think. If you, like, uh, if you like these temples like this, definitely tell me in a comment. Or if you know more information than, uh, than I do, then uh, tell me in a comment also. And all the names and stuff like that, I'll put a, a pretty good description. I'll put it in the description so you can read a little bit more about it. So from over here in, uh, I guess it's Talang Chan, uh, Remember guys, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy.